Hello. Today we're going to run through a few basic angle rules, beginning with this one. Now I'm going to tell you that this is actually a right angle. Okay, so it's a right angle. How many degrees is that? How many degrees in a right angle? We usually show a right angle by showing a square like that. Okay, so if I've got a right angle, I hope you know that that's 90 degrees. And so I already know that part of that right angle is 70 degrees. What would I need to add on to 70 degrees to get 90 degrees? Okay, I could do it algebraically as well. I could show that if this is X, okay, oops, I'm really having trouble with this pen today. Okay, here we go, here's X. All right, so X degrees plus 70 degrees equals 90 degrees. And so I could do this really thoroughly and say that this is 20 degrees. I'm sure you got that. Okay, so X is 20 degrees. Um, excellent. Okay, a very simple example to start with. All right, now the next example, another rule that we have learned is that if I actually put two of these 90 degrees 90 degree angles together, I hope you can imagine that and we would actually get um, a straight line. Okay, so what is two times 90? What's two times 90 degrees? It's 180 degrees. So the angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. And therefore I can ask myself the same question. What do I have to add on to 40 degrees to make 180 degrees? I could do it algebraically as well. So x degrees plus 40 degrees is 180 degrees. Um, so x degrees would be 180 degrees minus 40 degrees or 140 degrees. Yeah, okay, so we've got 140. Yeah, you can check it, they add up to 180. Lovely. Next one. Angles on a straight line now. Um, again, actually, <laughs> okay, same question, except this time we've got three angles. All right, so what we're gonna have to do is to add up, the, first of all, the total of these two angles here. All right, so 33 plus 68, let's do it without a calculator. Um, so we've got um, 101. All right, we know that they add up to 180 degrees, we've just discussed that. So if they add up to 180 degrees, then um, what we've got then is that um, X, plus that 101 degrees that those two other angles add up to equals 180 degrees. And so X degrees must be 180 degrees subtract 101 degrees or 79 degrees. Okay, it's about finding that missing value that makes up to 180. Let's go again. Okay, now this time we're going to be having a look at some angles around a point now let's just build on our last example again. Okay, if I draw a straight line and I put a point in the middle, like so, all right, then you can see that actually, if I go around a point completely, I go 180 degrees first, then another 180 degrees, all the way around, okay? And you'll probably be aware of this already, that if you do a full spin on the spot, that you turn 360 degrees, and that's double 180, isn't it? There we go. So these angles should add up to 360. Um, so far then, I'll, I'll do it um, thoroughly. So we've got x, x degrees. So x degrees plus 55 degrees plus 200 degrees equals 360 degrees. Now I know that this is going to be then, let's, let's simplify this, x plus 255 degrees equals 360 degrees. So my x must be equal to 360 subtract 255, which I think is 105, 105 degrees. It looks about right. It looks like a, an obtuse angle, okay, between 90 and 180, a little bit more than 90. Yeah, okay, so we've got, yeah, just double checking that, 105 degrees there. Okay, perfect, let's carry on. Next one. Okay, so now we've got a right angle triangle. We discussed right angles at the beginning of the tutorial. So here's um, the, the 90 degree right angle. All right, so we know it includes a 90 degree angle. The angles in a triangle add up to, okay, so, um, I mean, we could, we could show this um, thinking about a rectangle, if you like, all right? And this is gonna lead on to, to work in the future, on the future slide. So basically, um, if we think about this, if we doubled it, made a rectangle, 
no way to remember how many angle how many what the angles in a triangle add up to this would be 90 90 90 and 90 okay so all together those angles would add up, add up to 90 times 4 which is 360 all right but we haven't actually got um all of those four angles we've got half of them we've got one of these and then we've got half of um half of this one and half of this one so actually it's half of 360 the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees okay um so i've already got a 90 degrees i know two of them and i know a 30 degrees and let's call this x again so i know that x plus 90 degrees plus 30 degrees equals 180 degrees or x plus 120 degrees equals 180 degrees these are in degrees um so x is equal to 60 degrees okay this easy example 60 degrees okay um right what type of triangle have we got here now this is 32 and this is 28. Let's start by actually working out the value of this third angle and then we'll discuss what type of triangle we've got. So again, they add up to, um, they, all, the, all the sides, all the angles are going to add up to 180. So 32 plus 28 plus X is going to be equal to 180. All right, 32 and 28 is 60 degrees plus X degrees equals 180. So x must be equal to 180 minus 60. x is um, 120 degrees. Okay, so by that, okay, we can see that all, this, all the angles are different. And as a result of all the angles being different, um, it means that all the sides are different as well. So if all the angles and sides are different, what type of triangle have we got? It begins with an S. Okay, have you got it? SC. It's a scalene triangle. Okay, that means that all the sides and angles are different. Okay, so same idea. The, the angles will still add up to 180 degrees. Now we've got these two lines here. Now that actually means that these two sides, side lengths are equal. All right, so that means that we've got what type of triangle? It begins with an I, S, okay, isosceles. And it also means that actually um, these, two, oops, these two angles down here are equal. So there's a rule that, that is if you've got an isosceles triangle, then the base angles will always be equal. All right, so what we got here is 30 degrees plus X degrees plus X degrees still equal to 180 degrees. We can simplify the x and the x to 2x, it's 180 degrees. So 2x degrees is 180 degrees minus 30 degrees. 2x degrees, almost there, is um, 150 degrees. So divide by two on both sides, x degrees equals 75 degrees. Okay, so we've got 75 and 75. Okay, lovely. And next one, maybe you've guessed what's coming up next. We've done a scalene, we've done an isosceles. Um, I'm gonna tell you what it is. It's an equilateral triangle. And what that means is that all the side lengths are equal, and as a result, all the angles are also equal. Okay, so we can make an equation now. 3x must be equal to uh, 180 degrees. That's what we get when we do x plus x plus x. Okay, equals 180 degrees. All of these in degrees. Okay, so um, now we just need to divide, don't we? Okay, so x degrees is 180 degrees divided by 3. Um, so x equals 60 degrees. Okay, 60 degrees. And it's always true for any equilateral triangle. Okay, it's so always 60 because 60 plus 60 plus 60 are the only way, are the only angles you can have that can all be the same and will add up to 180 degrees in the triangle. Okay, last one I think, I think we're at the end. Oh no, two more, two more. Um, angles in a quadrilateral now. Now we discussed this earlier, I made a rectangle using that triangle earlier. Okay, can you remember they were 360 degrees? And look at what we've got here, we've got two 90 degrees, two lots of 90 degrees, one here, 
and one here. So we've got three out of the four angles. So we can say that 90 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 75 degrees plus x degrees equals 360 degrees. Let's simplify this. We've got 180, which is 90 plus 90 plus 75. I'm just going to get my calculator out. Um, and that gives me 255. Okay, so you've got 255 degrees plus x degrees equals 360 degrees. So my x, my missing value, must be 360. Oh, it's not a 3. Degrees minus 255 degrees. Um, so it must be equal to um, 360 minus that last answer is 105 degrees. Okay. All right, and one more. Okay, now this one hasn't got any right angles in, but it's the same process. Okay, they're going to add up to 360. Let's go and, uh, and find what it is. So what's 84 plus 50 plus 146 plus X, let's call it X, um, equals uh, 360. 84 plus 50 plus 146 is 280. Okay, so these are all degrees. Uh, 280 degrees plus x degrees is 360 degrees. So x is 360 minus 280. So what is it? It's going to be 360 minus 280, 80 degrees. There we go. Final answer. And that is your, that's a little short course in your basic angle rules. All right, so I've, I've flown through. Um, feel free to, to go over it and just skim, skim through again just to get the, the main ideas, the main rules consolidated and understood. Okay, and good luck with the work.